deciding on personal self-defense items, there are a lot of things to choose from. A lot of times, of course, concealed carry. A lot of people, including myself, I carry a flashlight with a crenulated bezel for a non-lethal option. Of course, a, a pocket knife. One thing, though, that's really quick to deploy is a good neck knife. And that's one thing a lot of times people overlook is a good viable option for self-defense. So we're going to take a look at the CRKT Thunderstrike and Drumfire. These are brand new offerings uh, out at 1st of 2015. And these are really capable little blades. Now these are Crawford designs. Pat and Wes Crawford are a father and son team out in Arkansas. A great company, designs really high quality uh, custom knives and these were designed by uh, Crawford Design. You can go to their website actually and see a knife that's very similar to this one uh, and they have done some others for CRKT including the Triumph series and they do make a small neck knife and so this just continues that series. But the accessories that come with the knife are what really make this a great option and you get a little small Kydex sheath, uh, good retention this is very easy to use as a neck knife. Uh, you have a pull away cord here and that's important to have so you don't get choked. Uh, you can just press it, pull it, and uh, it has a good strong paracord. The uh, sheath itself is very versatile. You know, you can attach this to molly webbing. Uh, of course, you know, it just hangs uh, on your neck, but also is included a nice little J hook. And this can go under your belt. This can be adapted to pals webbing or molly attachments and so there's a lot of cool things you can do. This can be moved into different positions. Uh, paracord can be strapped all the way through uh, to attach it. So there's a lot of cool things you can do and, and it makes it very easy to personalize to fit whatever you know your EDC is or whatever your tactical carry is. Now you can adjust this to wherever you want for it to ride right here. Of course right here at the sternum is a really great place to have it. Um, you can see that it comes off, it retains itself to the lanyard, and uh, good retention. Here, easy to deploy, just grab, pull out, and you're ready to defend yourself. Here you can see it under the shirt, just going to ride really nice, able to grab that, pull it loose. So even with a short pull, or just a long violent pull. You can get this thing deployed. Very easy to adjust, press down. You can adjust this however you want to. And then again, if you need to get this thing loose, just grab and pull. You only need one end open, you're ready to go. This will keep you from getting choked. <laughs> but this is gonna give you enough tension to where when you pull the sheath, it's gonna leave the sheath with the cord and not bring out the whole thing with the sheath, which is important. Nice click. To get a good idea of the retention, pull it, and then a good solid click. Of course, it is adjustable wherever you want to set this on your neck. If you want to have it up to your sternum, which I like, or you want to bring it down a little bit lower, you can set it in that place, pull it loose, again, ready to rock. If you choose to use the J-hook, really nice, solid little hookup. In fact, with this belt, it's really a good tight fit. And then, of course, you can deploy it really simply. Uh, I think, and it's so flat. I mean, it's just amazing how flat that is and how that's going to really ride. Of course, with the Thunderstrike, you know, you can do the same. Put it any position you want to. This is just for demonstration. Um, having a really good belt is important. This is DowTechForce.com bull leather belt. I've been wearing these for about five years. They are awesome belts. Great for concealed carry. Uh, as a gun belt and for accessories like this. Having a good sturdy platform is important. Make sure though that you click that in to get that good retention. With the attachment points on the sheath you can use uh, paracord to be able to attach this to molly webbing or pals webbing and uh, of course there's a whole array of different ways you can do it. Uh, also with the slots it gives you a real stability. You could really tie this really down well uh, but even this way it's going to be secure. Then you can also attach it to belts, battle belts, your pack, whatever you have, uh, salt vest, uh, plate carriers. There are just so many different options with this type of little sheath system. The Thunderstrike obviously is a little more of a fighting knife, a little more of a tactical blade. And of course the drum fire is purely skeletonized. Uh, you can do your own paracord wrap on it, uh, but it does make it really flat, 
really nice. Uh, both have fobs that are very well executed. Uh, it has the square knots uh, all the way down and this really gives you a little more, especially when you're holding a small little knife like this, you're pulling it from your neck. Uh, it gives you a little bit of something back here to grab hold of in case it slips in your hand. The paracord gives it a little more thickness, a little more comfort, but yet it does add a little bit to the weight. And so, you know, that is something you need to take into consideration. Now we'll look at the similarities and then I'm going to look at each one individually. But uh, both are made from 8CR13 MOV steel. Spyderco actually compares this to the OS8. But one of the great things about the uh, 8CR13 MOV is that it's fairly reasonable. It's 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness and it is a stainless steel so that's going to give you corrosion resistance. Both knives have holes. Now of course with the paracord you're not going to be able to see it but very similar to the drum fire the uh, Thunderstrike has the same kind of design setup. Uh, these holes not only do they lighten the weight which is important again for a neck knife something you're going to be wearing a lot around your neck but it also allows for grippability. This gives you some little gripping surfaces, especially with a very thin knife like this, without actually texturing the blade. Now, if you really want to go minimal, if you're really thinking about something for EDC, I think that the drum fire is a really excellent choice, mainly because of the weight. It weighs 1.2 ounces. Now, the fob actually makes it go up to 1.8 ounce, which is still very doable, under 2 ounces. And the sheath system with the cord is 1.2 ounces. So you're looking at... Uh, about three ounces total for the whole package, which I think is very doable. Now to look at this knife, you would think it might be difficult to really grab hold of. Uh, but one of the cool things about this knife is the ergonomics, which really add to this. Uh, being skeletonized, it seems like it would be really thin in the hand, which it is. But yet it's still three-eighths of an inch in thickness. You can kind of see right here with the spine. Uh, one of the great things, though, are the, uh, again, the ergonomics, the way the knife is designed, it really allows you to get a good grip on this knife. Uh, the finger choil, very solid, and then of course you have this finger groove here. So you have some uh, bottom fingers are able to really grasp, and then right here with the thumb, and you can see the jimping right here. It's a great thumb rest, able to really grab hold of this knife. And with the Tanto blade right here, or the modified Tanto, it really gives it a strong point. This is going to be excellent for piercing. There's a little bit of a recurve right here as well. Uh, and the blade is just a really nicely executed. It is very sharp out of the box. One of the things too that this thumb rest is going to do is it's going to allow you to have reverse grip. So if you grip it, you can get that pinky finger right there on that edge, which is really going to help whichever way you decide to carry it. So it gives you a lot of gripping options as well. And in a self-defense situation, that is really important because you're going to grip it however you can grab hold of it. And it may not be the way that you prefer. And so having these different options of being able to grab it, to me, are a huge advantage. Now this flat area as well, right here with the spine, is very functional. You can really get a thumb way up high. That way you can really bear down on the tip of that blade. And because it's so uh, strong right here, because of the tanto, you can see how it actually comes together uh, the swedge does, but it makes it really strong. Grab here, here, I mean there's just a lot of different little options and that's all built into the Crawford design. It's six and three quarters of an inch overall. It's a, a two and a quarter inch blade and it just has a really nice satiny smooth feel to it. But for the Thunderstrike, I think this gives you a little more capable knife in a fighting situation, in a tactical situation. It does have the EDP black corrosion resistant finish. And the EDP finish is actually what they use on car parts. So it's going to be a very durable finish. Uh, the edge on this knife was excellent. It's kind of a drop point. The paracord has been nicely wrapped. It gives it a really soft feel to it. Uh, gives you a little more meat than the drum fire. Uh, and it gives you a little more gripping. The only thing is it's going to be just a little bit thicker. Uh, but I think it's a really good trade-off. And I think, really, you can kind of use these interchangeably for two different roles. And, of course, just like the drum fire, you have this little thumb area right here with the jimping. It's very nicely executed. You have this flat area on the spine to be able, again, to grab hold. Uh, you have that drop point kind of blade, so you're really going to get some good piercing. 
your finger chill right here of course the paracord comes up and gives you a little bit of a cushion and then you have your grip so it's the grip and the design where you grab is a little bit larger but the same unique design of the drum fire the overall length is seven and a half inches it has a two and three quarter inch blade length uh, the weight on this is just 3.6 ounces that's what it stated on CRKT and I weighed it and that's with the paracord 3.6 ounces 1.1 ounce with the kydex sheath and the cord so it gives you a really decently lightweight knife with a lot more capability and of course just the fixed blade design gives you a lot of advantages very quick to deploy uh, you know it's a lot very strong in fact of course it is full tang obviously because we can see it but this really is going to give you a lot of strength now the one cool thing about both of these knives is that they are fairly reasonable this knife on the Crawford Design website, or at least pretty close to this design, was $170. And of course, it's well worth it. It's been custom crafted. Uh, all the materials that go into it, you know, it's just a custom knife. But under the CRKT production, you get this for $49.99, which is a fantastic price. Uh, also on the drum fire, it's $39.99. Of course, the really great thing is you go to Go and Gear. You get a 10% discount using Such00 when you check out, and orders over $49 get free shipping in the continental U.S. And I really appreciate Marshall having these sent to me by CRKT uh, to give you guys a sneak preview of this knife. Uh, again, this is 2015. The SHOT Show is going on next week, and these will be introduced at SHOT Show. So it's just really great to be able to get a little sneak peek at some of the new offerings. In fact, CRKT is coming out with a whole line of different knives a lot of really cool designs but I think that really for self-defense this really gives you another option you have your concealed carry again flashlight makes an excellent defensive tool which is another thing that you can get on the going gear website they have over 800 flashlights um, and then of course you know there are a lot of different options this just gives you some choices and one great thing about a neck knife is it is super quick to deploy the CRKT drum fire and thunder strike these are excellent little neck knives. Great option for self-defense. CRKT, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. two brand new offerings 2013 uh, this is 2015 so we're gonna look at two new brand so we're gonna look at two brand new offerings from CR of course if you choose to use the J now the drum fire now we're gonna take a look at the now the drum fire it weighs 1.2 ounces with the fob it weighs 1.8 ounces is that right 